Hey, you guys, it's Oh Happy Bay, and we're out on the bay. This is beautiful San Leandro Bay. We're in San Leandro right now, and mm -hmm. I'm with two really wonderful women. Hot, hot women, we're hot. Hot women, <laughs> <laughs> for more than one reason. <laughs> You guys gotta forgive us because we just do that. Um, the Bay Area is a happy place and uh, we want to promote love, hope, happiness, and healthy living. And so I have two great guests on this particular episode and they are the one and the only Nikki Thomas, a voice that we used to wake up in the morning to and have lunch and then drive time and late night and everything else on KBLX 102.9 FM in San Francisco. And uh, we have Dee Johnson from Linda Hand Foundation. And Linda Hand Foundation has been taking care of our babies for 27 years. Wow. Okay, so we are um, at Horatio's in San Leandro. And uh, I just want to check out with them and talk to them and see how they've been doing and let you guys hear from them. Uh, Nikki Tom. Hey. Hey. How We're you eating. doing? We're eating, so let me just get myself together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, how are you? Oh, <laughs> uh, Nikki, it's so good to have you home. Um, Thank you. And it's so good to hear your voice. Everybody knows your voice. You got a, you got one of the most familiar voices in the world. Really? Just, you know what I mean? If they never seen your face, once they hear your voice, they know it's Nikki hey, Thomas. That's the truth. Yeah. Really? Uh, I never even, you know what I mean? I didn't even think about it that way, but I receive it. Thank yeah, you. okay. So, how have you been and what's going on with you? Talk to us. We miss you. Well, I'm here. In the old happy bay. I'm here. <laughs> I think, you know, first I'll say that we live in kind of like that digital nomad world nowadays. Yes. Where folks might move around and they might have a few home bases. <laughs> So whatever they call home, they always come back right. to it. And uh, that's the bay for me, because it's like, there's hometown, New Orleans, but bay is really my home as far as the place that made me, mm -hmm. or the place that I came and felt at home. Mm -hmm. So no longer on the radio, and right now, you know, a reset. My daughter is pretty much grown. <laughs> Should be 19 That's in September. Wrong. Yes. <laughs> and uh, in college. So empty nester, resetting, and ready for phase two, whatever phase two is. Right. So I have my own podcast called Nikki Thomas TV. Mm -hmm. And after a lot of contemplation about it, it really is about activating creators and communities of the Bay. Right. Because it takes some work to be on top of your game as a creator. <laughs> of any kind right we're, we're a community of nothing but people who are creative and smart and brilliant and talented and business minds and that's daily upkeep right you need your circle you need your circle of people to keep your mind right right because if you're out here as a creator you're a little bit crazy mm -hmm. <laughs> a little bit, just a little. Okay. It's varying for percentages of crazy out here. So, you know, you, you always need that help. You always need inspiration. You always need resources. And the good thing is that there's always something new. There's always a new tool. Mm -hmm. AI is really working on our side. It's for us as creators. Right. And, you know, I just find that being in community is, is great. And... I'm creating a digital community or a digital platform as a hub for this kind of energy. So, um, so yeah, so that, that's what's happening. And um, I spend a lot of time in New Orleans. So now that I'm like in the Bay, you know, New Orleans is home and comfort food and chilling and, you know, be an old cat lady in my house. But Bay Area is action, it's magic. It's manifesting stuff. It's just that kind of place for me. So that's the latest. So Nikki Thomas TV, all over social media. That's where you can find me on YouTube, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook. Um, so I'm not hard to find at all. If you're somebody who is creating anything and you're saying, hey, I want to collaborate. Or Nikki, I want you to make me one of them. 
packages for the social media like you be doing, you know. Um, I'm not hard to find at all. And I love working with other small businesses and creative entrepreneurs. Well, we're glad to have you back home. Uh, we miss you. I miss you. I'm sure Dee misses you. Yes. We are, you <laughs> know, my girl right we here. have been a team for so long. <laughs> and thank you for helping create Oh Happy Bay. You and Dee did that so many years ago. Mm -hmm. Dee Johnson, how yes. you doing? We're doing good. It's always good to see you, and it's I thank God for good you. It's always to be seen, too. Yeah, <laughs> now. So, you have a agency called Linda Hand Foundation, and um, you provide backpacks to students in public schools and some private schools, if I'm not mistaken. And you've been doing it for a significant amount of time. Could you tell everybody what it is that you do and how we can become involved with it? Well, actually, we're just trying to eliminate some barriers from keeping kids from, you know, having what they need in order to grow and to learn and stay in school. And that's very important that they're able to stay in school. There's so many different obstacles that come their way, not having clothing, not having food, um, coming into the classroom, not having the tools that they need as other students may have. So it has been our mission to enhance the quality of life of children, youth and families for many, many years and our mission has not changed from day one in 1997 when we prepared to give out Easter baskets to families in a homeless shelter. So now, we still, are, we can't believe just how much the need it still is, how big it has grown. You would think that things would be better, however they aren't. And, and to piggyback on what Nikki was saying about resources and community, it takes not a village, but villages. Yes. We need a lot of resources in order to make sure that families have what they need in order to thrive. It just really makes me sick to pass by all these homeless <sighs> encampments. Mm -hmm. And the babies are out there. Right. And now it's hot. Mm -hmm. And when it's cold. So they're being affected in all kind of ways. Mm -hmm. So we all, if we all come together, we could really make a big difference and have that impact that we need to have. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, we can all come together, leverage our dollars so that we can have a greater impact, so that we can make sure the 35,000 or so kids that uh, attend old USD schools will have all of their tools. And I, I know we can do that if we all come together. You just called out a number. You said 30,000. Mm -hmm. 35 plus. 35 Probably. plus thousand yes. students in yes. our school district that need support that need support mm -hmm. they need backpacks mm -hmm. they, they need, need clothing, uh, clothing. Food. they need food uh, during Christmas time you know you're always providing gifts yeah, to our uh, families for that. Yes. Uh, full meals during the holiday yes um, so there's so many things that someone could do to actually lend a hand that's right so how do we get in touch for Linda Hand Foundation. Linda Hand Foundation dot org. 510-553-1262. Or send us an email info at lindahandfoundation.org. It would be a blessing. Mm. So um, there you could donate and you can send money. Um, you can volunteer. You can volunteer. Um, you are looking for new people to help you yes. uh, pull these events yes, off. We do. We need help. It's a major undertaking. It's major. And when you're talking about 20,000 backpacks, that's a whole warehouse full of backpacks, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> and the process of stuffing them and getting them prepared for distribution. It is a process. It's a um, big, big so undertaking. So it's not just going and putting stuff in a bag. And, mm -hmm. You know, you have to get the sponsors. You have to buy the materials. There's logistics, getting them there, getting them back to where they need to get to, to the schools. It's a big process. And it requires a lot of hands. So. I have a question for Dee. Um, so first, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna debate for a hot minute. 
And Linda Hand is one of the first things I remember hearing about because, of course, you had the partnership with Kevin Brown and right. KBLX. That great partnership. Mm -hmm. So you, you know, you famous. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you famous to me. It's like I was this little wide-eyed kid, and I was no. like, oh, what wonderful right. work. Not at all. So let me ask you this. How has what's inside a backpack changed in that time because you said the word tools and we were talking about tools and what the kids use as a tool in the classroom I know that's got to be a little different so it's like is it is there a difference in how you present the backpacks nowadays well yes um, in regards to colors and the quality of the backpack is very important because you don't want to give them a backpack and it falls right. apart. Um, so you have to spend more money. Uh -huh. The tools that are supplied uh, depending on whatever the age group is. Uh -huh. So if there's a K to two, you want to make sure they have the uh, the correct writing pads, uh, notebooks, stuff that they can read and learn how to write. And then the next grade level, then they get additional items. Mm -hmm. And then your your middle high school, then they it's a lot. You know, you know with this modern technology, they need a lot. They right. Need a lot. They need a lot of direction, they need a lot of help. Uh-huh. Um, and so they need those tools in order so they can be better. Right. Mm -hmm. So let me say this to you about supplies and tools. Um, I'm working on a project with a author, and her name is Monet Brown. Monet Brown has um, created a series of children's books that are around the subject of uh, No Chat Back, which is the internet experience that a lot of our kids are experiencing now. And when we talk about supplies, the school districts are now supplying us or our children mm -hmm. with laptops and yes, iPads. They, they need that. And they have not given real instruction about how to protect your kid and keep your kids safe. Uh, so parents are now dealing with their kids on the internet mm -hmm. and their kids are now being trafficked. Yes, Unfortunately, money is the root of all evil and sometimes we just want to say you know support my son he graduated from high school here's his cash app and or here's his Venmo and then we want our family to give him cash gifts somewhere down the line there are predators out there who are making our children their prey mm -hmm. and they are doing it through those platforms that's right so I want to tie you into her because I think it's going to be really important along with the supplies that go into those backpacks. Mm -hmm. We put some of Absolutely. those books in those backpacks Absolutely. to educate not just the children yeah. but their they parents. They all the education they can get yeah. about everything. Mm -hmm. yes. So, Nikki Thomas, mm -hmm. okay. happy Bay Area. You know we happy, happy, happy all the time. Happy, happy. And, um, or something. <laughs> yeah, or something. <laughs> we, were, we were riding over and we were just busting up laughing about several things in the car. Um, can you tell me and tell the listeners the things that make you happy in the Bay Area? Mm. What kind of stuff makes you happy being in the Bay Area? The beauty, the natural beauty of the Bay Area makes me happy. Um, you know, we know every city is different. Mm -hmm. and different kinds of beauty. So, you know, my hometown, for instance, New Orleans has that culture right. where you go to the French Quarter and you see some stuff Jazz, that's old. French, you see cobblestone yes. streets. Mm -hmm. But Bay Area is more like natural God's paintbrush, mm -hmm. where he just came in and showed out with how beautiful the surroundings are. So that's one. That was the most amazing thing when I first got here. It's like, wow, this looks like Disneyland or something. Do I get right. to live here? <laughs> um, you know, and again, I just, I love the, what's the word I'm looking for? The creative black folks, mm -hmm. aggressive black folks. Right. Yeah. I get it from, I'm from the South and you know, South can, you know, be a little different. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you for saying it like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's different. Not, not every idea the South is ready for at the same time everybody else. I'll say it like that. Mm -hmm. But progressive, success, fast-moving ideas. Mm -hmm. We're like literally 
it's almost like it's an energetic thing. If you have something in your head and you walk into a room, the pieces of that plan in your head will start just walking and be, hey, mm -hmm. it's almost like they'll just say it out loud. Hey, didn't you say you needed someone to do this? And you'll be like, did you hear me say that? You know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a particular kind of, you know, magical quality to the bay. Um, and again, this is where I had my daughter and, mm -hmm. you know, um, got to a place in my career that felt very fulfilling. Mm -hmm. So it's almost, it's almost like Disneyland where you see your dreams are going to come true. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so it's that kind of energy and, um, you know, just the, it's just, just this beautiful place to me. May I please say this to you? Sure. Um, and I'm sure Dee will support what I have to say. We are so appreciative of you and how you were so open to us as a community on air. Oh. <laughs> um, you would approach things in a very diplomatic way, but you would also give us, you know, the information that we were seeking in yeah. that moment when we were listening to you on the air. And it could be just as simple as, you know, it's raining outside. You guys be careful and drive slowly or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. thank you. What we're looking for, we get from you and we thank you for thank doing you. that. Thank you. And let me, I'm, I'm going to give credit. I have to give credit for... Because, you know, Kevin Brown was great in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I had done mornings before I got to the Bay, but I had, you know, I absolutely had a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. So there is a flow, and it's not, it's never just information. It's care and it's love. Right. So that's really was. And see, like, I'll give you some radio secrets if y'all want some radio secrets. Yeah, we secrets. want some radio secrets. I one, need of the, them. one of the radio secrets is you're talking to one person. People say, how does it feel to talk to thousands? No, you're not talking to thousands of people. You're talking to one person. Mm, so if I walk in and I say, hey, everybody, I ain't talking to nobody. Mm -hmm. If I walk up to you and I say, hey, honey, how you doing? Right. I'm talking to you. Directly to you. And that's a biscuit with butter on mm -hmm. it. Because you're just like, yes, ooh, that oozes. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, I brought, I guess, a little bit of the Southern charm with the mm -hmm. honey bun and you all did. that. So. I, I receive that and thank you, but you know, it's it's also a skill that you learn. Mm -hmm. It's 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 almost who watches Star Trek? Like I haven't watched data it, yes. on Star Trek mm -hmm. is the internal. You, well, you the say sixty seconds, that means I'm gonna open my mouth and mm -hmm. I'm gonna close it when sixty seconds mm -hmm. is done. Yeah, not fifty nine, but sixty. Yeah, because I got it in here and I know exactly what it feels like. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So my thing is, when you're listening, I want you to feel. Like somebody cares about you, like you in the in the in the pocket with us, you know. It's almost like you could imagine maybe me and Kevin Brown on the porch somewhere. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's your folks. I love that he said, "Hey, I'm your cousin." Right. It's endearment. Yeah, hug your children before That's you it. let them it's go to school. It's we're family and. Yeah. We care about you. Mm -hmm. So miss him. Uh, yeah. I had the opportunity to see him actually last uh, May at the Stone Soul. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. I brought him some pictures. Of, mm -hmm. you know, really? I haven't seen him in a, in a while. Mm -hmm. yes. In a while. Well, we are powered by the folks at KBLX 102.9 FM, and I am so appreciate appreciative to them and the Bonneville Corporation for just continuing to allow us to have a platform where we can promote happiness. Okay. We got enough sad stuff out there. We got enough chaotic stuff out there. Now we're promoting happiness. Uh, G. Johnson, before we go, can you tell us what makes you happy in the Bay Area? It makes me happy to see our families thriving, being happy, having what they need to, in order to succeed. Mm -hmm. It makes me so happy. Okay. This makes me so happy. Yeah. Well, okay, you, I sleep well at night when, when I do whatever I do. Yes. And you do it from your heart. I do it from so my heart. So when you sleep at night, you don't just sleep, you actually get rest. And, yeah, I <laughs> There's get a rest, difference. And I have all these different things going through my head. Right. So when I wake up, <laughs> there it is. There's another <laughs> message. <laughs> on fire. On fire. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you. But I want to say this to anybody listening. Linda Hand Foundation and Nikki Thomas TV, our original Oh Happy Bears. <laughs> they helped us create it. 
Mm. And um, so I want you to support the things that they are involved in, specifically with Linda Hand Foundation. D, you uh, expressed to me that your budget coming up is a million dollars. I express that's what we need. Yeah. Oh, that's absolutely the truth. Right. And we're and we're, we're nowhere near there. Uh-huh. So we definitely need somebody to come right. and help us do that. Well, there's some or somebody's. Yes. <laughs> well, there are Bay Areas all over the world. You do know that. We do. Tampa Bay. <laughs> She'll take money from everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. That's right. Probably. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. As long as we can get the money. Oh, you don't live in Oakland? No, I'm not going to take that. Oh, no. Anywhere we can get that. <laughs> so, to our millionaires um, all over the world, um, yes. it, it, this is a place where you can lend a hand and it will help thousands of young people in the Absolutely. Bay Area. Nikki Thomas in closing, mm. what would you tell the people um, a word of hope and encouragement? A word? Oh, you put me on the spot now. Mm -hmm. A word of hope and encouragement. There's not a spot where God is not. Mm. Amen. Hey, hey. Amen. You know what I'm saying? That's I like that because we could agree on that. I don't care what practice, religion, wherever you... So true. That's the truth. Yes. That, that spirit is the undercurrent. When we talk about God is love, that undercurrent is present wherever you go, whatever you do, whatever you call yourself, whatever right. language you speak. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that's the truth that I It is hope, all by His hope. grace and His mercy. Yeah. That Your we're words able to are... do whatever we do. Right. We need to give Him the praise. Okay. Well, we are all happy back. So when, listen, I learned that God is love. Mm hmm. And um, on my job marrying people, uh, because it's a non-religious position with the state of California, they said, you can't say amen, you can't say God bless you, you can't say none of that. And for me, I was like a fish out of water being a preacher's kid. I was like, how am I going to do unions without See, this is, that? This is that radio That's trick that radio I'm talking to you about. It's a language. Talking? It's language. So we make it uh, personal for everyone that comes before me. And um, I always say this. If I can't say God, can I say love? And they say, yes, you can say love. I said, okay, when I say love, 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 I mean God, God, God. So when I say love, 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 you say God, God, God. Love, love, love. God, God, God. Okay. Oh, happy bay. I'm here with Nick Thomas. Thank you so much. And D. Johnson, thank you guys for tuning in. And always remember to keep it locked and loaded and uh, continue to love on each other and do good things for community. Stay encouraged. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate you Thank so you. very much for Thank sitting you. with me. And lunch was wonderful. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.